again, I wish somebody would have said, what if it doesn't work? What else are you going to do? So I had to learn the hard way by pain, okay? And that pain was the utter disappointment that I never even gave any kind of room to think about. What if I don't make it, okay? So, you know, God didn't give me the gift to be so talented to get a scholarship. I didn't get any offers. I had nobody clamoring for me. But again, I knew I could help a team. I knew I could help a school. So I went to St. Peter Junior College, which was 45 minutes away from my house. I had eight o'clock classes as a freshman. That's brutal when for 12 years you're going to school every day because you have to, and then you're just tired. And college is not for everybody, okay? I didn't know if it was for me. And I knew the reason I was going was because I thought I wanted to be a physical therapist. I wanted to coach people to get better and get back on their feet. So I said, well, at the same time, I'm gonna walk on to this basketball team. I could make it. I had made a highlight tape for myself. Again, didn't have any help. Coaches today, Coach Steele's great about this, helping at every step, getting recruiting offers, getting recruiting visits, making tape, getting seen. Okay, we didn't have that back then. We just didn't have it. In the early 90s, it just was not a thing, okay? Um, so, do it on my own. Right? So I get there, I go to three tryouts, and on the third one, the coach says, you know, you've done a great job. I'd like to see you again. If you read between the lines, um, we need to seriously talk about, you know, walking onto this team. And what I didn't do, I didn't take care of the classroom. I was always a good student but I was tired and I was exhausted. I was going through emotional and mental peaks and valleys of I don't know if I want to do this, I don't know if I can do this, a lot of self-doubt. Okay, and we didn't talk about mental health back then, it wasn't a thing, coach can tell you that, nobody talked about that. It was suck it up and move on, that's just the way it was. So I sucked it up and I moved on. And so I didn't take care of the classroom and to this day, called a transcript that follows you around like a stink. I've got three F's on a transcript. I was falling asleep in class every stinking day. I was not taking care of me. I wasn't pouring into me. I wasn't giving myself what I needed to be successful in the classroom, which always comes first, student athlete. Student athlete. So there's a reason that it comes before that. Well, I was just like, athlete, athlete, athlete. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna do it. It's just gonna happen, just fill in the blank. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. Took it all for granted, and then it was, nobody took it away from me, I did. Nobody said, you're not good enough to play ball, Dave. No coach told me that, I took it away from me. And then I'm like, like the blowfish at the end of Finding Nemo, now what? Well, wasn't going nowhere. 